Hello and welcome to this demo on session hijacking. So let's see what we've got. We've got a Kali machine here, which is our attacker. And here is our victim running Windows 10. So we start our session hijacking with a man in the middle and let's start capturing packets. So if you recall from the um, sniffing module, the first thing we need to make sure is that IP forwarding is set to on. And we do that by just quickly checking cat proc sys net ipv4 ip underscore forward. It's set to zero currently, so we need to change that to a one. So let's just quickly do that. Let's just do a nano forward slash proc forward slash sys forward slash net forward slash ipv4 forward slash ip underscore forward. Okay, and let's just change it zero to one, control X and saved. So if we do a cat now, it is definitely active. All right, let's just quickly verify the IP address of our victim machine. So it's an IP config and it's 1.104. So what we'll do now is start the op spoof attack. So we say op spoof minus i for interface, ethernet zero, minus t for target, 192.168.1.104, and our gateway, 192.168.1.1. Great, now let's do the exact same thing in reverse, op spoof, minus i, ethernet zero, minus t 192.168.1.1 and 192.168.1.104 great so now our man in the middle attack is underway um, let's get our wireshark up and running applications sniffing and spoofing and wireshark and let's quickly just capture a few packets. So what I've done is I've installed a um, application called DVWA, which stands for Damn Vulnerable Web App, which you can download off the internet. And it's a great tool to use when you are practicing vulnerable web applications, which in this case it is. So let's just quickly go and see what that looks like and it's on this IP that I've already preloaded. Okay, and this is what the um, home page looks like. So let's just start capturing some packets. Let's just get that underway. And let's log in. The username is admin and the password is password. So if I log in to DVWA, I just want to go to DVWA security. So this, this application actually lets you set the security level from impossible, which is secured, to low, which is not secured. I'm just going to submit that. Just make sure that it takes effect. And you can see down there that the security level is set to low. Okay, great. So I have captured the packets and let's just quickly go look at the cookies of this um, site. So I'll quickly go into Chrome, More Tools and Developer Tools over there. And under Application, I can see Cookies. There is the site. There's my Session ID and there is my security. So let's see if, I, if I've actually captured that on the side over here. So what I'm going to do now is stop capturing packets on Wireshark. I'm going to go File, Save As, and I'm going to save the actual capture file. I'm just going to call it Capture to the desktop, so Capture. And I'm going to save it as a PCAP file, which is this one over here. Um, just because I'm going to use another tool to actually look at the traffic. And I'll talk about that in an instant. Okay, so let's just save that and close it down. And there is my capture. Great. 
So what I want to do now is just introduce you to a new tool called Network Miner. And Network Miner doesn't come pre-installed in Kali Linux. It's actually a, a Microsoft um, platformed product and you can download it from the Network Miner site which is made by a certain company which I'll show you in an instant. So it's google.com and then let's just go here and say Network Miner. Okay, so you can see here it is Network Miner for Network Forensic Analysis Tool. So let's click on this link and <clears throat> here it is. So there's a free version and there's a professional version which is quite expensive but the free version does everything we needed to do for this demo and to install it on Kali Linux you literally just click on this little Linux link over there and it gives you the steps to do so for Kali Linux you'll be doing it under Ubuntu as you can see you install Mono and then once you've installed Mono you install Network Miner using these commands and it installs it into the OPT directory as you can see over there. Okay, so I've already done that. So <clears throat> now I'm just going to open up a new terminal window. I'm going to CD to OPT. I'm going to do an LS. I'm going to CD into the Network Miner directory. And then the command is mono and network miner.exe. Let's give that a second and that's what Network Miner looks like. So what Network Miner does is it takes a capture file and actually makes it very readable. So you could use this for sniffing as well, but I wanted to give you the raw packets in the sniffing module, but now let's use some tools to make our lives easier in this module. So we just say file open and let's just import that capture file. As you can see, it's busy passing. And this is quite a nifty tool because it it gives you all the IP addresses that have been captured, gives you files that have been captured, images if there were any, messages, credentials, etc, etc. Okay, so here is the credentials tab. And as we can see here, there's our 4555135. And if we look at this session ID over here, it's changed to security low which is what we did at the end so this is actually the session id we need so what we're going to do now is let's just copy that as you can see it's under the username um, and what we're going to do is let's just paste that into a text document for now uh, Control v to paste and as you can see there are actually two cookies as they are there as you can see, it's exactly the same number. Great. So what we do now is now we're going to hijack that session. So what we do is we open up Firefox. We go to that same website, 45.155.138.58. As you can see, it wants us to log in. Now there's a, a really nice little um, Firefox plugin called Cookie Manager Advanced and I highly recommend you install it. So as you can see I've got a few cookies that I've had in the past and what I'm going to do now is I'm actually just going to uh, delete all cookies from all domains just to clean it up and let's just close that and let's just reload this page because I want a nice clean demo to show you. Okay, great. So there's our, there is our domain 45 and there is our current session ID and security. So what we could do now is we're going to change the session ID to be the same as that one. And we do that simply by going to our text document. Let's just copy that session ID number there copy and let's just paste it in there paste and we then save it so it takes effect and we set our security to low and save that as well All right so now we've pretty much impersonated the same thing over there so what we do now is simply just go to the URL so as you can see, we know that this site has security.php. So if I go to security.php and hit enter, 
I now have exactly the same axis as this individual here. So as you can see, I am logged in as admin, low and disabled. And over here, I'm logged in as admin, low and disabled. And that is the demo on how to do session hijacking using man in the middle, packet capture, and just manipulating and stealing some cookies to actually steal the session from this one. Great, so that ends this video. And thank you very much for watching.